Good morning, friends. My name is Saad Bedi from St. Carlos School of Hospitality. Today, I'm going to be talking about the production process of white wines. We have been discussing a lot about wines in the last few videos of mine. We have talked about the various wines that are there, old world wine countries, new world wine countries, the various famous regions, the famous countries for wines in the old world, the wines which are being made in the new world countries, the wine laws which are there, and the famous grapes and the wines which are there worldwide. So today, keeping that in mind, I'm going to talk about the production process of white wine. So the contents that we're going to talk about today are going to be the introduction to white wine, the various steps in making white wine, and in the end, I'm going to talk about the production process of white wines. White wines have been into existence for a long period of time. Actually, wines have been a part of human society since generations and they go back to very, very long European history. So now, I'm going to talk about the introduction to white wines. White wine is a wine that is produced or fermented without the skin contact of grapes. The color can be straw yellow, yellow green or yellow gold. It is produced by the alcoholic fermentation of the non-colored pulp of grapes. White wines have existed in our society for more than 2500 years. So you can see they have a very rich history and heritage that are part of our day to day lives even today and are being consumed in very large numbers worldwide. In this photograph you can see a wine sommelier. The term wine sommelier is given to that person who has complete knowledge about the wines giving a tasting session or a learning session to various guests at a resort property. And in, at the back of the wine sommelier you could see various wine bottles in racks which are placed. The steps in making white wine. The first step happens to be grape harvest. The second step happens to be destemming and crushing. Third step happens to be pressing to, in order to extract the juice. Fourth step happens to be fermentation. In this particular photograph which you can see on the right, you could see a flow chart which describes the wine making process where via a cartoon flow chart I have made a proper detailed explanation as to how white wine is made. The next step that we have in making white wine happens to be maturing in order to make the wine much better in order to age it. Then we have the process of filtration and thinning which helps to remove unwanted impurities. Then we have the second last step which is a blending in which we blend the wine from various airs in order to get a richer and a more aromatic wine. The last step that we have is bottling in which the wine is bottled and the wine label is attached for further use. And we can also see a flowchart here on the right which explains how white wine is made by via a cartoon. The first step in the process of making white wine happens to be grape harvest or grape processing. The first step is wine making is the grape harvest. It can be done mechanically or hand picked. Hand picked method is more time consuming and costly. Whereas the mechanical methods that are used these days are more time efficient and cost effective. It depends on the manufacturer or the winemaker which particular method they want to choose. In this photograph which I have put here on the right you can see the grapes and a beautiful white wine being displayed. The second step that we have is destemming and crushing. After harvest, the grapes are crushed and destemmed quickly. Destemming means removing the stem from the grapes. 
The grapes are crushed in many ways as per the manufacturer's choice. He can use the traditional method of foot pressing or he can go for mechanical methods. The objective of crushing is allow the juice to run. Now these crushed grapes are called as must. The next process that we have is called as pressing. The gentler the pressing, the finer is the juice or the must is. Usually there is a period of cold settling to allow solids in the juice to fall to the bottom which are then racked off having a clearer juice. So we allow the must which when pressed to be allowed to settle down in a cold temperature so that unwanted impurities can be removed and the juice can be extracted. Each winemaker has his or her own preference on must clarity. Fermentation The must are added to the fermentation tanks. This happens to be the most important steps in the production of wines, whether it be red wines or white wines. The yeast, which is the main component, acts on the sugar in the juice and produces CO2 and ethyl alcohol. Fermentation is done at a lower temperature as compared to red wines. The lease may be stirred to yield more flavors. So, the lease which we have, the yeast which we have, the must that we have, when it's combined together, it can be used. The impurities which are left behind by the yeast is called as lease, which are stirred in order to extract maximum flavor before they are drawn off. The next step that we have is maturing or aging. The wine is placed in oak wood cask. The cask can be French, toasted, American or charred. Some wines are aged for 6 months whereas some wines are aged for 3 to 4 years. It depends completely on the wine maker or the vineyard owner for how much period they want their wines to be matured. This is how an oak wood cast looks like and they are placed on top of one another so that a proper symmetry can be maintained throughout the vineyard. The next step that we have is filtration and filling. Wines appear to be cloudy as they contain very fine particles. Filtration is done to remove these immunities and solid matter like dry yeast cells which are called as lees. Filling is done with substances such as egg whites, gelatin and icing glass. Icing glass happens to be the bladder for royal sturgeon fish. In this particular photograph we could see the various filtration and filling agents which are used to clear and filter and make the wine much finer. The second last step in the production of white wine happens to be blending. The process of mixing wines of different years, age, regions and grapes. To make a new wine with a unique flavor, we blend the wines from different age vintages, different years, regions and grapes. Blended wines are then rested and then they are thinned again so as to get a clear wine. The last step that we have in the production process of white wine happens to be bottling. The wines are bottled in sterilized bottles. The bottle is stopped with nitrogen or CO2 to displace oxygen as oxygen can be very harmful for the wine. Then the cork or the screw cap is attached and the labeling is done. Earlier this method was done by hand but now with the coming of technology all this is done with the help of machines in vineyards and this method has become more economical and time saving. So as we come up to the end of my video, I would like to thank you guys for, for sparing the time to watch my video. In case you guys have any questions, you can always put them in the chat section or in the comments box and I'll be more than happy to answer them. In the next video moving forward, we will be talking about various famous red and white wines. Thank you so much for your time. Have a nice day.